Because of God's grace, each of us can experience victory in Jesus no matter what circumstances or challenges face us along the way. This was certainly the testimony of Eugene Bartlett in the early 1900s. Eugene Monroe Bartlett Sr. is considered to be one of the founding fathers of Southern gospel music. He penned many favorite songs for singing conventions of the day, such as, Everybody Will Be Happy Over There. Just a little while and he will remember me. In 1939 though, at age 53, he suffered a stroke that left him partially paralyzed, making it extremely difficult for him to walk or even to speak. The stroke effectively ended his singing and teaching ministry. But it was during these dark days that Mr. Bartlett reminisced about the night he was saved, which prompted him to write the following lyrics. I heard an old, old story, how a Savior came from glory, how He gave His life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. But as he began to pen another verse, he realized that God was dealing with his heart during this season of suffering. He then wrote, I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then I cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit. And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. In Mr. Bartlett's affliction, there was discouragement, depression, and even despair. But he didn't ask for healing of his body, no. Instead, like King David of old, he prayed, renew a right spirit within me. Because he was no longer able to fulfill his teaching commitments, his older son, Gene Jr., took his place in the singing schools that were already scheduled. The first of these events was booked in the oil town of Laird Hill in East Texas. Gene decided to ask a very well-known evangelist to speak the final night of the school. The evangelist did preach, but not one person went forward with the invitation. Gene was very disheartened, of course, but then he felt the Lord urging him to sing a new song that had recently been written by his father. Soon the words of victory in Jesus filled the auditorium and people began to move. They moved forward toward the front to accept Christ as Savior. When the service was finally ended, some 50 people had made a commitment to Jesus Christ. Eugene Monroe Bartlett Sr. died just two years after his stroke on January 25, 1941, at the age of 55. During his lifetime, he would never realize the impact his music and ministry would have on the generations of believers that would follow. One of the reasons that we believe in the importance of timeless hymns of the faith is because they help to tie generations together. Let's enjoy this unique opportunity to sing his very special song, Victory in Jesus.